you know, we're on the precipice. Like we are finally getting the pieces of infrastructure in um, that we're really moving forward. And so I think that we're very excited about it. And we think that Ripple can absolutely end up being one of the major hubs that kind of creates that first step that brings on those larger financial institutions to start tokenizing new types of assets. Alrighty, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another CyberX video breakdown. Buckle up your seatbelts because in today's video, we're going to be jumping into institutional grade DeFi, proving to you all that these financial institutions not only are testing out DeFi solutions and literally building out the blueprints to integrate the old traditional financial systems over into these new DeFi systems, but showing you all that they are telling you all this on stage and that the vast amount of individuals are not only ignorant to what's happening, but not utilizing DeFi to their benefit, which is again, why here at Cyprex, we stress the importance of educating yourself properly and understanding what is happening behind the scenes. Hopefully today's video breakdown clears all that up for you all. Welcome back to the platform. We do appreciate the love and the support. Do us a favor, smash that thumbs up button and subscribe if you are not already. Let's jump into today's video breakdown. We're going to tap into one of the mentors here at Cyprex where he was attempting to tell you guys this in a video breakdown just a couple days ago, and I was reading through some of the comments, and I'm literally going to shut up all the naysayers in today's video breakdown. If you think DeFi is a scam, if you think that it's going to get regulated out of existence, and if you think that financial institutions are not interested in DeFi, you are 110% delusional. You will get left behind because when these financial institutions come on board, they are for a fact going to be interested in earning yield on their digital assets. So again, follow the money. What should you all be doing? Take it upon yourself. Head over to CypressTrading.com. Get educated on DeFi. You don't have to go and deploy in DeFi ecosystems, but at least you know how to get involved when the timing is right. And if you're worried about regulatory clarity, at least you have the educational foundation to get involved when regulation comes into play by, again, jumping into a like-minded community that does nothing but constantly pump out value. So check this out. We're going to play a video clip from Mr. Aqua on his um, X profile. If you guys don't follow Mr. Aqua on X, make sure that you guys go do so now. Give him a follow. He pumps out great, valuable content. And here in this post, he said, maximize your XRP earnings today. We're only going to play a little short video clip of this, like the first maybe 10 seconds. But just listen to what he says here. DeFi is not what you think it is. DeFi is where the real true banking yourself is at because you can earn yield on your digital assets. Where right. He talks about earning yield on your digital assets, how you can bank yourself. Okay. So we're not making this stuff up. We're attempting to share information via the perspectives of these large financial institutions. We're going to jump into some Ripple representatives today, and I'm going to share with you all how the vast amount of individuals have no idea that this is even taking place. For example, just look at the comments. Bro, you people are real actual losers. You make videos about XRP only because you think it's going to be something big, right? And this individual literally has XRP warlord in his name. It's hilarious that the vast amount of XRP enthusiasts don't even know that you can take your XRP and go earn yield on it right now. Then this individual, Hugo, shit for brains, go play with your butterflies. Well, I'm going to show you naysayers, XRP Warlord and Hugo, that you all are the ones not tapped into the information. And here at CyberX, and our followers are the ones that are. So let's head over here. Okay. This stuff gets me so hyped up because people are so ignorant. And it's weird that we're in an age of information, yet people still choose ignorance. So we're going to be tapping into a video clip to start off with an individual representative from Ripple, the head of DeFi products to be exact at Ripple. Her name is Jazzy Cooper. You guys can go follow her on X if you'd like, but we're gonna tap in to a video call that she was on just a couple of days ago to be exact, 12 days ago, and only has 950 views. This just goes to show you how many people are really truly paying attention to the valued information. We're going to listen to what this representative from XLR says. His name's James, sitting on stage with Jazzy, head of DeFi products at Ripple. Pay attention to what they say and what they're going to announce in November about JP Morgan and their partnership 
and what they're testing. I'm going to show you guys what it is that they're testing. They are testing DeFi. I'm going to physically, just watch this. It's going to blow your freaking mind, people. So the reason why I'm showing you this is so that way you're not paying attention to the naysayers on the internet. And that way you at least at a minimum, take it upon yourselves to go and get educated about DeFi because DeFi is the new wave. I cannot stress enough. And through today's video breakdown, I'm going to prove that to you all that financial institutions are staking. They're looking at earning yield. They're testing out these DeFi solutions right now. Okay. So let's take a second and let's listen to what he says here. To get those assets in the hands of users and applications. Uh, and we think if you look at everything that Ripple is doing and where they're strategically positioned around institutions and enterprise, this is going to be a huge opportunity for us to tokenize new real world assets and then distribute them to the rest of those you know ecosystems that we're working with now. So that's that's certainly on the very like concrete, tangible side, um, looking at that. And we're, we're very much interested to see where the larger financial institutional space moves, how quickly they're able to find comfort to really tokenize, uh, you know, certain portfolios of assets. But publicly, you can take a look, you know, look at what JP Morgan did with Project Guardian and take a look at what Deutsche Bank is doing now with Project Guardian. And the work that they're doing with Axelara will be presented in November. So kind of wait for them to share a little bit more about what they're testing in this proof of concept. But this stuff is you know, we're on the precipice. Like we are finally getting the pieces of infrastructure in um, that we're really moving forward. And so I think that we're very excited about it. And we think that Ripple can absolutely end up being one of the major hubs that kind of creates that first step that brings on those larger financial institutions to start tokenizing new types of assets. One of the major hubs to bring institutions on board. And he talked about JP Morgan. He talked about testing. So let me show you guys a video clip that here at CypherX we have presented to you before where a JP Morgan representative went on to talk about exactly what it is that they are testing, right? And in this particular video breakdown that yet again only has 539 views, what were they talking about? They were testing DeFi. Pay attention, people. I'm telling you guys, you got to tap in and stop paying attention to the naysayers and get educated. The reason why I'm showing you all how many views these video breakdowns have is to show you guys that nobody's paying attention. So when you have naysayers or Twitter keyboard warriors on the internet, they are the same people talking crap on posts that myself and Mr. Aqua, who are attempting to educate people on, are talking crap about, when in reality, they're the same people not watching these videos of financial institutions telling you guys word for word what they are doing. Listen to what he says here. And this is a JP Morgan representative. Take a second and listen. The transition from private institutional blockchains to maybe more public or what you guys are using today. And Eric, I know you have uh, really interesting opinions on where that's going to go in the future. Yeah, and maybe I can just provide a little bit of context in terms of just the you know traditional financial services market and how we think about uh, the requirements really to be able to operate a safe and sound system. So JP Morgan processes about $10 trillion of payments every day. That's 400 times the global stablecoin daily volume. Um, the global FX market is about $5 trillion. And so when we think about utilizing blockchains as a settlement layer, uh, we need the infrastructure to actually support these volumes, and we need them to support the you know the scale that the traditional financial services market is at. So right now, clearly, um, there are a number of reasons, both techn uh, technological-wise, but also regulatory-wise, as to why we have to use permission blockchains. However, you can think about these you know globally ever-present, always up, highly redundant public blockchains as a really, really attractive settlement layer that can you know service this global market. However, until we actually solve some of the key challenges, specifically around privacy, um, specifically around things like AML, KYC, it does become difficult for us to fully step into that environment. We did a project last year with the Monetary Authority of Singapore where we demonstrated what it would actually look like for a regulated institution like ourselves to utilize public DeFi protocols, to utilize public blockchains, and you know, very clearly- Now, pay attention. He said they tested with the Monetary Authority of Singapore what it would look like for a financial institution like themselves to get involved in DeFi protocols. He specifically just said that. What, who is, listen, you guys pay attention, okay? I, you see what the pieces of the puzzle I'm putting together for you guys. Who was Jazzy Cooper sitting on stage being told, right? Let's go back to this. Being told that they're gonna be a major player to bring financial institutions on chain with XLR. What did he just mention? He mentioned JP Morgan, what they're testing. He mentioned a major announcement in November, okay? 
keep in mind the JP Morgan representative just mentioned monetary authority of Singapore and what they're testing. Let me further prove my case and blow you away at the fact that nobody is paying attention to this. It's so crazy that we have naysayers on the internet, keyboard warriors. Oh my God, help them. Please, please help them understand what's happening. This is the direct document from the IMF, okay? Programmability and payment and settlement concepts and implications. What was the JP Morgan representative talking about? Bringing traditional finance onto public blockchains. What did he mention they tested with the Monetary Authority of Singapore? DeFi protocols. Here we see IMF working papers described August 2024, right? We know Ripple, IMF, I don't need to go down that rabbit hole. If you don't know how interconnected Ripple is with the IMF, go back and watch a couple of previous video breakdowns or some other influencers that have covered that before or just do the research yourself. But here, what can we see? With payments and traditional financial instruments with DeFi infrastructures, what did the JP Morgan representative mention? Building out infrastructures. What did XLR mention in stage in collaboration with Jazzy Cooper, head of DeFi products, building out the infrastructure, right? But this stuff is, you know, we're on the precipice. Like we are finally getting the pieces of infrastructure in. Um, uh, we need the infrastructure to actually support these volumes and we need them to support the you know the scale that the traditional financial services market is at look ripple at its core is a blockchain infrastructure company serving enterprises we started with payments and financial institutions we've moved into custody a lot of overlap with those same financial institutions uh but we're going to expand with that same thematic of infrastructure enterprise based uh that served us well that we're really moving forward. And so I think that we're very excited about it. And we think that Ripple can absolutely end up being one of the major hubs that kind of creates that first step that brings on those larger financial institutions to start tokenizing new types of assets. Efforts to create a global permission platform have started with a private initiative to public-private partnerships such as Project Agora. While most of these projects are in early phases of exploration, these hybrid financial systems are more open, interconnected, and robust than most existing payment and settlement environments. As some early failures have shown, it will take time to properly design these platforms, tokenization projects with the right balance of interconnectivity with broader financial systems, balanced governance, regulatory compliance, and maintenance. In the document from the IMF, from August, it's telling you that this is going to take time. I'm not telling you guys that this is going to happen tomorrow. No. But do I have a firm belief that this is going to materialize over the next consecutive couple of years? Yes, which is exactly why you should get involved in learning about DeFi, okay? Extensive research is underway to adapt the model of permissionless blockchains and their ecosystems into the context of traditional finance. This is directly coming from the IMF. Smash that thumbs up button and subscribe. And what have I shown you? Keyboard warriors telling you that DeFi is a scam. Oh, you're an ignorant person because you don't like stop being manipulated by the zombie idiots on Twitter and just do research. DeFi is going to be so massive and monumental that if you're not part of DeFi earning yield in your digital assets in the future, I don't even know what you're going to be doing with them. OK, check this out. This is also a document road to institutional DeFi from where Deutsche Bank. Oh, what did the XLR representative mention? Northern Trust, this is in collaboration with Northern Trust. Go back, okay? I just want to confirm that he said Deutsche Bank. So now we have JP Morgan and Deutsche Bank mentioned. Okay, let's go back. I just want to replay this for you guys so you can hear him say it. He mentions JP Morgan and Deutsche Bank. Let's go back a little bit now. So that's that's certainly on the very like concrete, tangible side, um, looking at that. And we're, we're very much interested to see where the larger financial institutional space moves, how quickly they're able to find comfort to really tokenize, uh, you know, certain portfolios of assets. But publicly, you can take a look, you know, look at what JP Morgan did with Project Guardian and take a look at what Deutsche Bank is doing now with Project Guardian and mm -hmm. the work that they're doing with Axelar will be presented. Oh, right. Deutsche Bank, JP Morgan. Are you guys picking up the pieces? I'm laying down facts right now. Come on, y'all. Smash that thumbs up button. This is I'm cooking right now for you guys. Look at this document. OK, traditional finance and institutional DeFi. Who from Deutsche Bank? Let me show you guys what they're working on, what they're tapping into. It says right here, the benefits of DeFi can be transferred into the traditional financial marketplace for the opening of the possibilities to create new cost efficiencies and effectiveness, as well as to generate paths towards new growth. These new paths include the tokenization of real world assets and securities, as well as the integration of programmability into asset classes and the emergence of new operating models. To further, it says right here, and this is from Dan J. Sleep, the senior vice president in digital assets and financial markets at Northern Trust. It says right here. 
Deploying smart contracts is being met with great interest by industry spectators, the evolution of decentralized finance and the potential to apply it to institutional use cases. Come on now, people. Come on now. Wake up. Stop paying attention to the naysayers. Last but not least, remember, JP Morgan representative mentioned Monetary Authority of Singapore and what they were testing. Well, if we head over here to the standard charter document labeled Real World Asset Tokenization, a game changer for global trade, check this out. What does it say? Project Guardian. What did the XLR representative mention? JP Morgan, Project Guardian, Monetary Authority Singapore, JP Morgan representative mentioned they were testing. Testing what? Look at this. At the heart of Project Guardian, lay a bold vision to explore how blockchain networks can help to advance the development of safer and more efficient financial networks, a collaboration between the Monetary Authority of Singapore and industry leaders participating in institutional conducted markets case studies to design. To design what? The blueprint for the future market infrastructure that leverages the innovation potential of blockchain and DeFi. Look at that right there. Smash the thumbs up button and subscribe, y'all. I'm dropping the mic. The reason why I wanted to share this with you guys is because I came here and I was watching Mr. Aqua's video and I was like, man, wow, this dude's spitting facts. 12,000 views, but then you scroll and you read through the comments and people are just straight brainwashed, manipulated into thinking that DeFi is a scam. And it's because y'all are not doing the research. I can't say y'all, my followers, I know you guys are tapped in. Shout out to you guys. And I know Mr. Aqua's followers are tapped in, but the masses, the keyboard warriors on the internet, they're not tapped into what's happening. So if you're not part of the Wealth 28 Club, do yourself a favor, tap in. You don't have to go and deploy your money into DeFi, into the DeFi ecosystem, but you could at least do yourself some justice, do yourself a service and get educated. I've now physically shown you guys that these financial institutions are for a fact interested in DeFi. And then the next video breakdown that I'm going to drop, I'm going to go through these particular video clips showing you guys that these financial institutions are 110% for a fact interested in earning yield and staking and DeFi solutions, talking to you guys publicly about this on stage. So if you guys enjoyed part one of this particular video breakdown, do me a favor, smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. It's free to do. And if you guys want to learn more in depth about DeFi, how to get involved, how to deploy your digital assets to start earning yield, not saying that you have to, but at a minimum, you could at least go get educated. Head over to CypressTrading.com. We'd love to have you on the team. Myself, Mr. Aqua, we've been trying to wake people up, trying to show you guys that they're interested in this stuff. And I'm telling you guys right now, if you just do a little bit of research, you put in a little bit of elbow grease and you stop focusing on the keyboard warriors, you will see the massive potential that you have in the future and in the now, if you are willing to take the risk, to take your digital assets and earn on them passively, income, every single second of every single day, right now that is possible. And I'm going to show you guys that in the next video breakdown. So stick around for more. With that being said, as always, be cognizant, be aware, and I'll see you all in the next video breakdown. Mm -hmm.